when they say the time, they're not talking about the actual time. Yeah. This is a plain wrong <laughs> time. <laughs> yeah, you put your watch there and say, oh, time. Time. <laughs> time. T-H. Why is you have a degree at yeah. school <laughs> <laughs> nah, This is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. 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 I didn't just want him to just be cooking it for all these girls where all they do they say thank you, thank you. We wanted him to utilize it, to be able to show off people this could be a school that you could learn. Now, if you don't know what jollof rice is, yeah, explain what jollof rice is. I wouldn't say it's a Nigerian dish, it's more of like a West African dish mm. basically. And rice is basically the most common eaten food in Africa. And so jollof rice is basically rice with flavoring in it, with tomato in it, with a bit of spices in it. That's just nice. I feel like you should you should go through the ingredients. You want to go through the ingredients. Right? First worries. one is rice. Now, normally you can use long grain rice, but we decided to use basmati rice instead. I know people are gonna hate on that. Chopped tomatoes, yeah. tomato puree, garlic, onions, thyme, chili. You can't do food without chili. The thing we actually want to start with is basically you want to make the tomato. The, the sauce basically for, that you're going to put the rice in. So with that, you use this chopped tomato, put some garlic in there, put some onions in there, some chili in there, and you just blend it up. I'm not going to teach you how to open a can. Is there a specific reason why they need two? You want to have the rice to have a bit more flavor. Mm. So tomato basically just gives it the flavor and everything. Yeah. But if you put less tomato in there, the rice wouldn't be as red. I didn't even know that. Yeah, no, bro. I can cook, but I can't, can't cook jollof these. rice. When you, when you tell all these girls that you you chew with that you're taking them on dates, so what do you do? What do you mean? What's the restaurant for? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you, you won't cook for a girl? No, no. Are you listening to Mr. CB? So let's blend <laughs> this one first, because I, like this is full. Now we're going to add our onions. You can't go wrong with cooking because no. no girl can do shakara for you. Yeah. Garlic, literally every food that you make. All these ones say they're demons. They're angels, man. I've never done any girl wrong. And that's it, man. That's how we should never be. Never done any girl wrong. They're all queens. He's <laughs> adding the garlic bread. Uh, that's it, garlic, garlic bread. <laughs> yeah, so this is the last cover, guys. Right. Tomato as well. Or tomato. Pepper, sorry. I messed that up. Didn't We're going to add four. Are you just making the numbers up or you're just. I'm not, I'm not making the numbers oh, up. You, you know exactly nah. what, how many specifically. I feel like when you cook, okay, mm. you will know what you like in your food and what you don't like in your food. Mm. You know how your food, what you want your food to taste towards the end. One, two, three, one more. Actually, we'll add one more for, me, for good luck. One long time for. It's the CV. Doing this. Put it all in here. It's the first thing. It's like making stew first. Basically. You don't know what stew is. Stew is just soup, basically. But it's soup that has got a lot of peppers in it. You don't want to cook this meal too high because you burn it. Then the rice. There's always the risk of the rice not being cooked properly. So you want to be careful and you want to always check it as well to make sure everything is good. If you have a look, obviously he's blended all the peppers. What did he even blend inside? I blended pepper, onions, um, tomato, garlic, and love. Yes. And then after that, what did you pour inside as well? So well I put some sunflower oil, better version. So you have to let this cook. While this is cooking, you cover it up. You shouldn't forget about this. This is one mistake that a lot of people make when they make jello fries. And add tomato, enough tomato puree. Mm. So you just let this cook for a bit. We also have to add salt. Never forget the salt. I know a lot of culprits that don't cook with um, salt. Don't mm. wash rice as well. Some people don't wash the rice because they can't be asked. We just have to be patient now. Let that cook for a while. Thyme going in now. So a teaspoon of thyme. Remember, not your, not your watch here yeah, the thyme. Don't go put your thyme inside and then tell us that's part yeah, of the rice. <laughs> Normally at this stage, you start washing your rice. How important is it to wash your rice? Would you say it's important? You don't know how much dirty stuff is in that rice. Mm. So it's important for you to wash it like 100%. And also with these with these rice as well, they add a lot of chemicals to yeah. it as well. So obviously if you are washing it, obviously you can't remove every single chemical inside the rice. But 
at least you can try to help them reduce the and amount, reduce the amount. Now we're gonna wash it. It's a lot of just gunk that you don't even know what's about. So you wanna try and make that water, as much as you're washing it, you wanna make that water clear every time. We can actually season this too. This is the part that gets the flavoring of the rice ready. I'm gonna put Maggi. Oh fuck, this thing is hard to crush. Hold on, just watch this. I might have to, I might have to. See all those, all those gym you go to, you can't crush Maggi. <laughs> We're adding three Maggi's inside. Yeah, three. And obviously this is just to give it extra taste. Flavor is coming. Wow. It's coming on good. Nah, the flavor is nice. But we're gonna cook the rice at the same time. Oh uh, no! So the rice. What happens? So we've washed the rice. So we leave that rice there. Yeah. So what happens is, once this is cooked and tasting well, we then add the rice, then put some foil in there. So we're gonna basically mm. steam the rice All right. with the tomato. Okay. So that's how it's gonna come out. Never seen that done before, but nah. Just we're learning, we're learning. CV, different content. We're gonna put the rice into the tomato. This is what I normally do when I'm making jollof rice. So I use this, put foil on there, basically so the rice can steam. Time to put the rice in. So we stir it in. Now is the bit, it's a bit tedious, but with the bit where the rice begins to cook. Covering up. Just leave it. I'm gonna leave it for a bit and um, yeah, we'll see you when it's sort of ready basically. So we'll check up on it again in like about 20 minutes. It's going so well so far, even better than before. Maybe next time we could do a fried rice episode. Hey, I like, hey! Yeah. You see, another topic there, fried rice episode. If you wanna see a fried rice episode, comment down below and let us know. Or even any other food you want us to try, don't worry, Chef Sam, I'll get him to be coming yeah, as a special right. guest. Or we bringing him in. How was uni life for you, right? man? Uni life. First of all, it wasn't what I expected. Mm. To be honest, like, I think that's probably what everyone thinks. I thought it's just going to be going there, study, study, study. You no, know, you don't have time to chill because I've had my older brother. Basically, I've been seeing him in uni and he looks stressed and everything. Mm. Yo, when I got there day one, <laughs> man, let loose. Different story. Man, different let story. Loose. Now, the thing about uni is like, I feel like it's the, it was the best time of my life because mm -hmm. I was able to find myself, you know, find what I like doing, what I don't like doing, you know, how to live, how to save money, how to spend money, you know what I mean? So it was more of life lessons rather than what I actually went there for. Right? And I feel like a lot of the life lessons I learned there, I'm carrying it with life for me right now, especially during this pandemic. Because you were going to mention about yeah. the pandemic. Because obviously you're talking about saving money mm. and all these things. Yeah. How important is it maybe might have to save a little bit of money, especially with no jobs at all? Yeah, honestly, this pandemic has just taught me a lot of lessons, mm. honestly. It like, the first lesson I've learned is you always need to have savings to fall back on. That's what's kept me, you know, saying now, or oh, I'm a student right now, doing a master's. So I don't really have an income, I don't have a job or anything. But the fact that I've not been spending money at, as I have been spending it in the past, because yeah. I've basically matured now, I've made a couple of savings, you know what I mean? Um, doing stuff that invest for my future, you know, taking on trading, doing other things, you know? Yeah. And um, the savings is what's just kept me like going till now. The second thing is <laughs> always check up on friends and family, you know? I would say this period I've definitely caught up with a lot of people that I've definitely not made time for in the last couple of years, which is basically my fault. You know, I've been so carried away with life that I've not even been able to just even check up on my friends and see if they're good and see if they're doing fine and everything. Another thing is just you need to have time to just rest. And, you know, these three months I know like it's been hard for a lot of people and everything, but I would say a lot of people needed those three months just to rest. You know, recuperate and we strategize. Mm -hmm. Honestly, you shouldn't overload your plate. Man. That's mm -hmm. one thing that I've taught. Like, you know, it's one thing just working, working, working. But what are you working for? What, what, what? I mean, I've started my career. Yeah. I wouldn't say I've started what I want to do yet, but mm -hmm. it's just looking around and seeing what other people are going through and everything. It's just put me in a different light as to what I want in my life and what I don't want in my life. 
Now the first thing I, I realized there yeah, was okay, I don't mind working for someone to get the experience, but ultimately I want to be my own boss. My dad once said something to me, he was like, you're either the person like smoking the cigar or you're the person lighting the cigar for someone else. What, what, what? I definitely don't want to be the one lighting the cigar for someone else. Hey, you so, wind up for I feel you wind up for Yeah. This one is a new line you've not yeah. heard before. Yeah. I've not heard it before. Uh -huh. And I'm sure you've not heard it before. So you're going to hear it again. Yeah, so you're either the one smoking the cigar or you're the one lighting it for someone else. So it's just more just take charge of your life. I'm currently in this processes of basically trying to own my own business. So I'm just waiting to graduate in September and I'm done. I think you'll probably see what I'm doing. Let's check on this rice. Add a tiny bit of water. So we're just gonna leave it there to cook. Check back for another 20 minutes. The rice is about to finish cooking, but it just needs a bit more. Yeah. Love. The jollof rice is now about to be ready. Mm. Mm -mm. Wow. <laughs> Vibes. It's been a long journey yeah, to cooking this jollof rice. So obviously we're going to eat it properly and then obviously I'll be able to give you a review of how we taste. We're about to taste this here. Big up to Chef Sam, who's also giving us this delicious, beautiful, brilliant. If any girl is going to fall in love now. Calm down, man. Hey, this is lit. Mmm, this is actually nice, though, still. But if, no. if you don't have to cook jollof, or you want to try to cook jollof rice, or you want to learn how to cook jollof rice, this is the video for you. And you know what? Keep watching. Is your boy, Mr. CB. I'm done for the day. You know what? It's been too long. I'm Subscribe done. and like. Comment. Have a nice day. From love. From Mr. CB. To Sam. To everyone that is watching this video, mm. <laughs> oh, like, that's love, man. I know a lot of you guys are doing all the fuck, you know? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>